What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You know what time it is? It's time for a good old-fashioned rant, baby. Hey, I've got two things in front of me. I've got an Amazon Echo Dot, and I got the Google Home Mini. And I want to just tell you which one of these things is better than the other. And if you checked out the title of the video, you'll probably know this, but the uh, short answer is, you know, I've had both of these for a while, and there's only one that I use, and it's the Amazon Echo Dot, not the Mini. And I, don't, I just want to kind of go through some of the reasons. There's one big reason, which I'm going to save to the end, but there are a lot of little reasons and a lot of little things that I hate about it. First of all, uh, the Echo Dot, which you buy on Amazon, is on sale a lot. I don't know how often it is, but they're basically both 30 bucks. but you can get this one for like $5 off a lot of times. And to be honest, I don't know how Amazon works, but if you go on Google, Google Home Mini, or if you go on Amazon, not Google, and you type in and search for Google Home Mini, I feel like sometimes they know that you're looking for it and they will offer this to you at a discount. So basically the same price. And on top of it, you don't need this particular one, which is their latest generation. The second generation is a pretty good one too. You can get that one for like $19 because it's the older generation. So again, you can probably save yourself an extra 10 bucks on it. Now, uh, I will also say that one of the things is, and this may or may not be true, but I feel like it is, I feel like the content library is richer on Amazon, which kind of surprises you uh, based on Google's history of having a lot of content, or at least it feels more consumer friendly, right? So Amazon Prime Video, I, I use, um, you know, if you ask it for a song, it's like in Amazon Music, you know, and I'll try to find it and stuff like that. Now Google has Google Music, but I don't know, you know how it finds my library or anything like that in the home mini and uh, even watching movies i know in youtube there are movies and they because i see them and it says like rent it for three dollars and 99 cents i'm actually not even sure how you do it it's just so intuitive and it's kind of second nature to go on amazon prime video or whatever it is and get content in the amazon ecosystem to be honest over google so uh, that just seems really easy, like asking, hey, play me Christmas music. And it always seems to do it pretty pretty well. Play me country music, whatever. All right. The other thing is on your uh, iPhone, my case iPhone or uh, Android, I feel like the Amazon Echo or the Alexa app is actually better. It just is really intuitive. It's pretty simple. On the Google Home Mini, and unfortunately I don't have a screenshot to show you, it has like settings galore. And to be honest, when I first set this up and was trying to tweak it, I wasn't sure if I could do stuff in the app or if I had to log into my uh, Gmail dom or uh, Gmail portal or whatever to change stuff. And I was kind of bouncing between the two and it just wasn't as intuitive as it is here. Uh, and on top of that, when you ordered this from Amazon, and I don't know if this one is the same way, but when you order through your Amazon account, it comes essentially pre-set up for your account. So when you turn it on, it seems to know like they've registered it somehow to your account. That doesn't mean you can't give it away or sell it and you know people can reset it, but they try to pack a lot of, I don't know, thought and technology to make it as simple to the end user as absolutely possible. And that's, that's pretty great. So I actually prefer this app the Alexa app over the Google Home Mini app. Now, uh, this, I also feel, again, not objective, just subjective, controls a lot of stuff. So when I'm picking up things like smart home devices or whatever, they they often say Amazon Alexa compatible. They, they I don't know, they, I don't ever see it or it doesn't dawn on me that they say Google Home Mini compatible, right? So everyone is building things to be compatible with the Google Home or the Amazon Alexa, like the smart bulbs, smart outlets, all of that, because I think it's just very commonplace. It's almost a joke to say, Alexa, turn on the TV, Alexa, turn off the lights, right? You hear them on commercials. But I don't really think, hey, Google is quite as, I don't know, second nature to people. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to warn you here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit of a hypocrite. And you'll see why here in a second. I'm going to show you both of these. And this, the Amazon, has physical buttons. Volume up and down, a mode button here, mute. This one does not. It actually does a little bit. But uh, I'm going to just show you on the top here. I actually don't know how to change the volume on the Google Home Mini without saying, like, Google, hey, uh, hey Google, 
turn up the volume, right? You can still do that. You can make audio commands here, but I love the fact that I can just kind of dial in the volume without having to say it every time. So having some physical buttons on the top is actually pretty nifty on this. Uh, the Google Home Mini seems to be lacking that. I just don't know how you do it. Okay, so like the, the, the physical buttons. So here is where I'm gonna be a hypocrite. The Google Home Mini does have some physical buttons. It really has one that you can't see here. It's, it's right here under the rubber bottom, which is the reset button. But it has a switch right here, and it's a slider switch to basically activate or deactivate the microphone on this. The reason I actually hate this is you might think, oh, that's great, because I'm worried about privacy, and I don't want to hear uh, Google, uh, you know, listening to my recipe for uh, weed brownies or whatever. And so I'm gonna turn this off. My issue with this is this is so dumb. You know, first of all, are you bugging your house with either one of these things? You damn right you are, right? You're, you're giving up privacy in a major way. Now this actually might physically disconnect the microphone, but to me, I'm thinking, even though it's a physical switch, come on. You're telling me that there's no way to override that with software. This, to me, is total psychological security. You know, to say like, hey, don't use the microphone. But unless there are two wires that get disconnected and turn off that microphone, um, you know, if you're a terrorist or something and the NSA goes to Google and says, hey, can you turn on that microphone? I'm, they're gonna, I feel like they're gonna be like, yeah, we can. But they have the switch turned off. Yeah, we can turn it on. So this, to me, is a total load of crap right here are physical buttons that make sense because they're useful this one is totally to me um like a mental placebo a psychological placebo right that somehow you have privacy with the google home mini there a company should be so reverent with your personal information that you don't need this like i want to know I, I i don't mind like knowing that they might be there but to me, this is just saying that, hey, you shouldn't trust us. This is like an open admission that Google says, hey, we know that you should be worried about your privacy, so we're gonna make it better by giving you a switch, right? I should know, there should be a little flyer in everything that they send me and saying, hey, no matter what, before uh, nukes get fired, we will never give up your information ever to anyone, or we will shut down our company before we violate the sacred pact we have with you on privacy laws. So the whole trust thing uh, is, it actually makes me distrust them more when they admit that they have to do something like this. Because I don't even trust that this thing works. So the whole don't be evil thing, kind of crap to me. All right, now the big thing. I've told you all the reasons why I picked the Amazon Echo Dot over the Google Home Mini, but the big one is um, this does not seem to work with my account with G Suite. So G Suite is kind of like the business level uh, suite of standard Google products like Gmail and Calendar and Contacts and the apps and all that jazz. But if you set up your own domain, which I have, right, for uh, my small business and, and whatnot, it's all in G Suite. So I don't know if it's like an enterprise product or whatnot, but I have never, even going on the forums and you know Google's customer service is zero, it's non-existent. Um, you know, and I've Googled, you know, how to get access to my calendar and stuff because it's on the G, G Suite uh, product lineup. And I have never, ever gotten this to work. So it is crazy ridiculous to me that I use Google services for pretty much everything. And I bought Google's product and I can't get it to work. I cannot get it to tell me what's on my calendar. I can't get it to schedule anything on my calendar. That is a huge one. This one, no problem. I log into my Google account. And I say, hey, uh, schedule Dukes of Hazard for 6 p.m. Does it? I say, hey, what's on my calendar for today? Reads it off, no problem. <laughs> the third party one, the one unaffiliated with my service, but the one from Google, I can never get to work. Now, someone might have figured it out, but the fact is that I had to go on and find out that there were compatibility issues with the G Suite services to the Google Home Mini blows my mind. And the fact that it's not super intuitive, simple, and works automagically uh, is the reason that I won't be getting any more of the Google Home products, basically. They just don't work with anything for me. Honestly, if I had a, a Yahoo uh, email account or an iCloud, I, to be honest, it might work better with the Google Home Mini than it, 
uh, my services with Gmail. So anyway, that's the big reason. That's my rant about it. Pick up either one, bug your own house, give up your privacy, you know, let the NSA know what you're doing, whatever. Uh, but that's how I have picked the Amazon Echo Dot. Peter Von Panda, out. <laughs>